bonus. We are going to be doing some bonus techniques on the foot. So we'll begin by warming up. And just spending a little bit of time warming up the foot, the leg. Caitlin said she doesn't have any issues with her leg or her foot, but she did ask me to uh, massage her right foot instead of her left foot today. Uh, she had a little sore spot, so that's absolutely fine. So let me just warm up today. I am using lotion. Uh, which does certainly uh, soak into the skin and everybody's rate of absorption is different. Um, you can use the same amount of emollient on five different people and one person you may have to continue adding and the next person it will feel like you are going to slide off into oblivion. So <laughs> you just have to gauge uh, based on your experience with different people. Okay. And as I am warming up a little more, uh, we'll get in a little bit of range of motion in her ankle. Getting a little bit deeper. And how is the pressure, Caitlin, between one and 10, with one being too little and 10 being too much, seven being perfect? Okay, can someone please read the first technique? Squeezing and squishing. Squeezing and squishing feels amazing to the, op to, to the often used and rarely appreciated feet. Use a pin pincer, grasp, or whatever creative position you like to squeeze each part of the foot that you can. While holding the squeeze push, that's the squish. Do this repeatedly. For example, you can squeeze the ankle and squish towards the heel. Do, do not do this to a pregnant woman. You can squeeze the medial and lateral aspects of the foot at the same time or separately while squishing towards the toes and or towards the heel. Try this anywhere on the foot. Okay, so this is a pincer grasp. Okay, and so we are going to put our fingers together like so, yep. And we are going to squeeze and squish. Squeeze and more pressure on your thumb or on your fingers. Um, I feel I'm putting more pressure depending on which direction I'm going. Um, when I'm pulling towards me, usually it's more the thumb. When I'm pushing, it's more my fingers. But that's a great question. So I guess my question is sort of carrying on from there when you um, is the pressure more when you're pulling or when you're pushing 
Well, or is there a difference? Caitlin, what, what do you feel more when I'm pushing or pulling? Okay. But this is also an individual thing okay. that you will find tight areas and in, in people's feet and you might put a little bit more pressure there or you might sit, feel some real tightness. Um, Caitlin has a little tightness right in here. So I might squeeze and squish. So when it notes um, the pincher specifically, does that mean that you're um, using specifically like the ends and not but necessarily the whole hand? Is that? No, I, okay. I, I mean, they're just saying use. Like the position. For like the formation. The position. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pressure, Caitlin. You want to, um, as you're doing any massage, think about your thumbs and joints also. Um, and typically when you're pulling, that's less stress on your joints than when you are pushing. One thing that feels really amazing to people, a little, a little side note, is to rub the side of the toe. Big toe. Okay, so somebody else, can you please read the next technique? Um, duck bill, squeeze and swish. Hold your hands in a duck bill position with your fingers together on the bottom of the foot and your thumbs together on top of the foot. Squeeze and swish the whole foot from the heel to the sole and vice versa, back and forth. You can either apply pressure with just your index finger for stronger pressure or with all of your fingers. And this might be something that's more comfortable to do while you're standing. Could even okay. do it, ask that. Is it better to... in this position. And we need to be careful with our pressure that it's enough, but not too much. Um, sometimes people have very sensitive toes and they don't feel great about having them pulled a lot. So you really want to check in with people. So what do we have? Next. Duck bill thumb slide. Hold your hands in a duck bill position with your fingers together on top of the foot and your thumbs together below the foot. Mm -hmm. Slide your thumbs back and forth, medial and laterally, across the foot repeatedly as you move up and down the foot towards the toe, then towards the toe. So this is basically the opposite. So you're going to slide your fingers up and down. You can go from the medial to lateral or vice versa. 
all around the heel. And I find this is also a great transition when you're doing going from one technique on the foot to another, that this is like a good bridge. using the fingers in this fashion right near the toes and separating the toes also some people love this i can't tell about caitlin if she is loving it or thinking wow this she's is... falling asleep well <laughs> then maybe she's loving it <laughs> So what are we doing next? Spine twist. Okay. Hold your hands in a loose C position around the middle border. Okay. Of the foot. Mm -hmm. Spine reverse. Grasp the foot and put both hands in the opposite direction. Right. In a ringing motion. Keep your hands in the same position, bring in the opposite direction. Continue switching directions back and forth. Hold your hands along the metal border and repeat. Okay. You should be twisting the bones, not flying over the skin. Yes. So thank you, Edwin. Um, I'm holding my hands in a C position and basically going like this along the foot and squeezing and twisting. And this is one of those situations where you do not want to have a lot of emollient. Um, Is this something that you can uh, perform on a pregnant woman? Um, a lot of pregnant women don't feel comfortable with you uh, touching the medial aspect of their ankles. So I just try to avoid it. Um, you know, there's, there's different schools of thought. Um, about whether it does cause contraction of the uterus. So um, just, it's just better to avoid it. You know, some people will specifically say avoid it to you and others won't, but you don't ever want somebody to think that you are doing something that may harm them. So. So just avoid it. Yes. So, can you speak up? Is it, is it like, or how would you approach to ask someone that this is there? Like, are you able to approach that? Um, they would. That's a great question. Um, when when somebody comes to you to receive a massage, they should be filling out an intake, okay. and that is always a question. Okay, okay so um, that's how you would find out. You review that material with them. Also, okay. one of the questions is, are you pregnant? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. 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 All 
Okay, what do we have next? I think it's just the end of holding the feet. Don't underestimate the profound effect of static holding. Just hold the feet, breathe, be present with the client. Okay. And sometimes people will hold like this with their hands interlaced, their fingers laced. You know, depending on the size of your hand and the size of the person's foot, your hand may fit all the way around. Um, personally, I, I like to hold the heel. I, I'm not touching the inside of her ankle, but I am holding her heel. I also like to hold, uh, this is an acupressure point. Bubbling spring. So, okay, so that's what you're saying is the solar plexus. Okay. Yes. Is that the kidney one? Maybe. Yes, yes. it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's his. It is. it is. Yes. Where's the other kidney? I'm just wondering. <laughs> There's many kidneys. Okay. Many. And um, All right. in, when in doubt, just say 36. <laughs> is that a lucky number? <laughs> I don't, it, it kind of worked. Well, Caitlin's was 38 today. So it, it's, I really. It, oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. You're just being silly. I'm just being silly. I, it is a, something I do sometimes. Don't hear you. <laughs> And those of you who take the Asian medicine class next quarter, um, you will learn a lot more about acupressure over the next couple of quarters. So. And I know the hold is one of the ways you can end, you can cover the toes. And there's some more on the back, just more holds, including the one finger on each toe. So what what are some of the others on the other side? You're getting a lot of them, just the it ends with the finger on each toe. So for wow, the finger on each toe, you literally will including your thumb, put one finger on the tip of each toe, and many of your meridians do start at the tip of your toes. So, and when you're doing this, take a few deep breaths. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm touching exactly lightly, but I'm not pushing. And uh, just letting my intention be known. If um, I were in a different position where I could brace my elbows, uh, Sometimes you may have an extra bolster or something you could put in your lap uh, that would make it a little more comfortable. So um, in the homework videos that we watched where yes. the same thing was happening, it, it, yes. some, somebody mentioned that you would feel like an energy pulse or something or another. I forget what it said. It, it was talking about um, a, a pulse uh -huh. and sometimes I well, not sometimes, I always at the end of a massage think about sending positive energy to my client. And, and you really can feel that if you take some deep breaths 
and send positive thoughts to your client. And you can feel that energy through your fingers. How long would you typically stay in the hole? Mm, 30 seconds or so. That's the closing, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so any questions or techniques on there? Okay, so it's about, we are done now, Gio. Oh, oh, it includes oh. percussion. Percussion. Sorry, Gio, one more. Oh, okay. Sorry, well, let's, um, we're still on. So the last technique, um, Beatrice, can you read that out loud, yeah. please? It's tap it to the feet, lightly utilize, uh, uh, how's that? Tap of timing on the bottom of the feet. You can use slapping with your hands flat, wrapping with your hands in a loose fist, or any form of Tap atonement that works for you. It is generally easier to face the bottom of the table. Right. So this is what it feels like. You can slap. Does it? <laughs> or a loose fist. And again, your your goal here is not super gentle, but you know, you're not putting your all into it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this after we've done the closing, or uh, you you can, um, especially depending on the type of massage. I'm sorry for my back. Um, the type of massage you're doing. Um, I, I would do this before, but you can do it after. That's what I was thinking that you, yeah. you kind of use the energy to close the field off and then by this, you're going to wake it up, right? right. So it's like, yeah. do you do it before? I, I, I would, but you can do it after. If someone, if you're doing a sports massage and someone is, especially if it's a pre-performance um, sports massage, you definitely okay. want to use percussion because that stimulates the okay. In the video, they say that the person's falling asleep is a good way to wake them up. Uh, well, it is, but <laughs> I don't want somebody to slap me to wake me up. I don't know about you. <laughs> Just tapping the time. So, all right, is that the end? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well,